G'day. My name's Andrew Dwyer and where I am is nowhere near Kingscliff. I'm in outback South Australia in the Flinders Ranges. And when I put my swag down on the ground here at night, it's not five star, there are five million stars. It's a magical place. And one of the great things about camping in the outback is the fires. Sitting around the fire at night, it keeps you warm and it's great to cook on. Desert timber is very hard and dense and it makes wonderful coals. But whenever you're cooking with an open fire, you've got to be really careful about how you go about it. You've got to manage it. First, when you choose a site that you're going to cook on, look around and make sure there's no combustible material, which is pretty easy in country like this. Look at what the weather's doing and what direction the wind's coming from. And so you cook upwind, so you, your face is not going to be full of smoke. Always carry a jerry can of water with you, or a bucket or something, so if things do get out of hand, you can tip water on and put the fire out. But the most important thing is just to remember that fires can be really dangerous and out here with this dense timber, what looks like white ash can actually be hot and can severely burn you. So manage it and use it wisely. Speaking of management, the management of wild goats in the Flinders Ranges is a big issue. We're south of the dingo fence and so there are no dingoes to keep them under control and so we have to shoot them. And I think what better way to control goats than to eat them? So today I'm going to cook wild goat in the camp oven. Now I didn't shoot these goats or pick them up on the side of the road, I actually got them from a butcher. The dish itself is the essence of simplicity and it makes it, it's perfect to cook in a camp oven. So first I'm going to put on the bed of the camp oven some onions that have been chopped in half. Now this serves two purposes. The first one is that it's going to put the impart the flavour of the onions up into the goat, but the second thing is it's going to act like a, an organic trivet and it's going to stop the bottom of the goat from burning on the camp oven. So then I've got two forelegs of, of wild goat. I place them on top of the, the onions. No Greek dish would be any good without garlic. So about half a dozen cloves of garlic and then plenty of fresh chopped tomato and then some fresh herbs, some rosemary and some fresh bay leaves, a couple of them and then the secret ingredient which is this fabulous wild Greek oregano that you can get in any Mediterranean specialty shops. It comes with the twigs and the, and the leaves and so if you cut the bag open and take the leaves out and sprinkle them into the dish. And what you can do with the twigs is you can leave them and you can use them on a barbecue in the future and it imparts a wonderful smoky flavour into your food. And then finally, the last thing is to add a good quantity of white wine. A dry white's perfect. And then season it to your liking. And then it's off to the fire. Now one of the handiest tools to use on the open fire is the long handled shovel because you don't want to place the camp oven on the fire, you want to shovel some coals off the fire and then put the camp oven on them and then another shovel load of coals on the top so that the heat gently radiates down. Now that's going to take an hour to an hour and a half and if you're doing it at home just put the camp oven into your oven, set it at 180 and the same, come back, it'll be fantastic. Now that's going to give me a bit of time to tell you more about this fantastic place. The Flinders Ranges has an extraordinary diversity of landscapes like jagged mountain ranges, river systems, salt lakes. In fact, if you want to see a bit of almost everything the outback has to offer, there's no better place than the Flinders. And it's crawling with wildlife. There's lots of kangaroos, wallabies, emus, echidna. It's a great place to bring the kids. The Flinders Ranges has inspired movie makers and artists. Artists like Hans Heysen, who painted beautiful oil paintings of the area. Its majestic landscapes are a sight to behold. It truly is the vision splendid. Now this has been on for about an hour and a half now, and I know there's plenty of you out there that are thinking, how could that possibly be cooked on just a couple of shovel loads of ashes? Well, let's have a look. I take these branches, because the last thing you want is ash falling back into the, into the camp oven. And now's the magic moment. Oh, wow. See, the tomato and the onion have really blended in with the goat. It's really delicious. The great thing about a camp oven is that it braises and it roasts at the same time, and it just does magical things to food. 
You know, you don't have to eat canned muck when you're out in the outback. You can live like a king. This is just going to be absolutely magnificent. Tell you what, stick around, because after the break, I'm going to show you some more great food out back. I wish I knew it's to push, then I'd know how to 